Just a night after dropping 31, Bronny James and California Basketball Club got matched up against Arizona Compass Prep, which is a tall task for anyone, and it was pretty one-sided. Here's how it ended. There was a clear talent disparity in this one. James finished with just four points in this game. Pretty tough night for him all around in a lot of areas, and we're gonna explore those in this video, but I think we can learn a lot from this game about what type of role Bronny James should hone in on and the indicators that point towards that role, uh, especially from an NBA draft scouting perspective. Compass came in with the game plan to limit Bronny James' airspace, press him up the length of the court, which is a good thing to do, and the goal was to speed him up, and that happened tonight. Having to face extended defense and athletic defenders was a challenge for him tonight uh, for a couple reasons. One of those because of his handle, uh, which has always been kind of problematic because it's high and rigid and the, the, the fluidity isn't just always there. The ball security isn't necessarily good, which circles us back around to the role question. Um, and I think being a primary ball handler at this stage is kind of off the table, uh, but I think he could really thrive as an off-ball guard or a third guard. The task of creating offense and being the primary guy is not something that I think will be asked of him very often at higher levels, or I don't think it should be at least. At this stage, and I think this is pretty typical for young guards, is that there's a discomfort in short space, um, right? Because here there should be a retreat dribble, a counter, or some type of variation of pace, um, but instead it's the defense dictating the pace and uh, leads to a turnover. I think context is definitely important at this point in the game. I think he has two or zero points, and after a 30-point game, he's trying to get himself going. Um, but I think he's more of a one or two speed type of guy uh, rather than operating on a spectrum. And I think that leads to some really tough shots and forced decisions. These type of scenarios of discomfort arise when he is asked to be the primary creator. And yes, I think a lot of this probably is magnified against competition like Arizona Compass Prep. And I'm not saying that he's not capable of creating, he certainly is, but the role of being the primary creator, I think is probably not the area to hone in on for him going forward. On the contrary, this is where he really thrives when the floor is very open and he's in position to make quick decisions um, rather than premeditated stuff. Getting him in these situations where he can attack off a DHO or a screen and break down a mismatch and operate with minimal dribbles and then make you know a really quick, heady decision or attacking in transition, you can pretty much always count on him to make the right decision. Uh, and this is translatable stuff, finding the open guy with velocity and accuracy and creatively sometimes. I think this is something that can really be honed and specified so that he can shine in this you know, off guard role. Because when he's attacking a moving defense, he's really in rhythm. And when he's in rhythm, the mechanics take over and they're perfect. In my opinion, he shares a lot of traits with Trey Jones and Miles McBride, but I think putting him in a Lonzo, Dyson Daniels role is where he thrives. 